Hey, I'm Kez Bracey for Tuts Plus. Welcome to the first lesson of Start Here, Learn CSS Layout. Now, before we actually hook into coding, I want to give you a little preview of the layout that you're going to be creating. Now, along with the source files that you get access to as part of this course, you'll find a little package in there that gives you all the starter files that you need to kick off this course with. And what we've got is the HTML that you've been working on so far with the content modified a little bit and a style sheet with the styles that you created in the last course on typography already inside. The content you'll be starting out with looks like this, and you'll be adding in layout code so that you end up with this. So you'll have a header with the logo in it. You'll have a two column layout. You'll have a little frame around this image here, and you'll have a footer with some centered text. You'll also have appropriate spacing all the way throughout the design. And if you shrink down the window, you'll see that the layout adapts so that it still looks good no matter what size window you're working with. Now, the reason that I'm showing you this now is because as we go through our coding, all of our layout specifications are going to be done using the REM unit. And you should remember from our typography course that a REM unit is a multiple of the root font size for your page. The REM unit is useful not just for typography, but also for your layout. And I'm going to show you why you should use REM units when you're setting up your layout. Now, just scroll down a little bit so you can see the area that is controlled by our text. And I'm just going to grab the settings. Scroll down to show advanced settings. And then we're looking for our font settings. We're just going to hit customize fonts. And just drag that out so we can see what we're working with a little bit more easily. Now, if I bump up the font size of our browser, you'll see the font size change in the site. I'm just going to pull this off screen so you can see a little bit more clearly. Now, if I keep increasing the font size and I just refresh, now you can see that the whole layout has adapted so that at this larger font size, everything is still readable. And that's possible because by using REM units to set out our entire layout, everything can be flexible depending on the root font size of our document, which comes, as you remember from our previous courses, from the browser settings. So in the same sense, if I decrease our font size back to a really small size, and I'll just refresh once again to let the browser just reflow that, you can see that the whole layout has shrunk down once again. I'll just put that back to the default of 16. So by using these REM units, we make sure that when a user changes their font size, not only does the text itself change to suit, but so too does the entire layout. Now, I just wanted to step you through that before we got into the rest of the course so that as we go through and start entering our dimensions that we'll be working with and our spacing sizes and everything else, you'll know why we're using REM units rather than pixel units. All right, so now that you're aware of that, we're ready to move on and get started with our coding. Now, there are basically four different aspects to layout CSS, and they are sizing, so controlling the height and width of something, spacing, controlling the amount of spacing that an element has around its interior and around its outside, alignment, so whether something is on the left side or the right side or the center, and responsiveness, making sure that your layout can respond to the size of viewport that it's being looked at through and remain readable and easy to digest no matter what the dimensions of the viewport are. So in the next lesson, you're going to start learning about sizing. We're going to look at three types of width property, and they are width, min width, and max width. And we're also going to look at three height properties. We'll be looking at height, min height, and max height. So I'll see you in the next lesson.